Hi, in this tutorial, we're going to be focusing on the Tip Temp Model 300 Thermocouple Welding Machine. We're going to start with the device component and then we will give a safety tips by the end of this video. We will demonstrate the welding process. With all being said, let's get to business. Okay, this is the front view of the machine. And we're going to start with the indicator light. Once the power is connected and everything is ready, this one is going to turn on. This one, the time adjuster, as you can see, and it really works with me on the number five. And that really depends also on the thickness, the, the thickness of the wire. And feel free to try different numbers and see which one works well with you. This is the welding button. Once you're ready and everything is held in position, you can just press on this button and the welding is going to start. The next button is to flush the welding area with the argon gas. Once you press on this button, the gas is going to come out from this area, leading the oxygen to be away from this area, which is going to create a shield on this welding point. And here is the welding points. This is a magnified picture of the welding points. This is, as you can see, is the welding electrode. And this is the copper piece. That's where the current is going to pass from this electrode to the wire to this one. And that's how the, your wire is going to be melted and which results in creating the welding joint of the wire. This is a back view of the machine. And as you can see, this is the holder for the electrode. I'll show you how to use this one. Just make sure you don't open this all the way out. You just need to really to turn this one one turn or two just to release the electrode where you can take it out or in. And I'll show you a little in a little bit how to adjust the electrode in position. This is the on off switch and that's how you turn the machine on or off. And this is the fuse of the machine. This fuse is going to prevent the machine uh, from being damaged. This is the argon gas connector. And as it appears on it, the recommended pressure for this machine, it starts from 2 to 3 PSI. And here is the power cord. Okay, so now we're going to perform adjusting the electrode into place. And then in this process, we're going to be using the depth gauge. This is the depth gauge comes with, with the machine from the factory. So we're going to start by loosening the electrode, by loosening this holder, and then turning the machine. Put your hands so the electrode does not fall down and get lost. And they'll tilt the machine a little bit, shake it, and there you go. Here is the electrode out. So what we are going to do now, we're going to use the depth gauge to, to push the electrode back. And this metal piece is going to push the electrode back inside. And the white area here is the plastic. This one is going to stuck on the area, the flange here, and it's not going to go anywhere more. And then once you put this one in the position here, turn the machine and screw this one back and the electrode in its place. Now the machine should be ready and adjusted. All we have to do now is to hook it up and perform the welding. Let's go to the next step. Okay, let's talk about safety. Before you plug in the machine into the power, make sure the electrode is there. Sometimes mistakenly, if you open the electrode holder all the way out, the electrode will fall into the machine inside. This might cause a shortage into the circuit. Also make sure you're working in a well ventilated area. This machine isn't designed to be used inside your office. You have to make sure there is no any flammable material around you. Don't forget to use your favorite lab friend. Safety glasses is very important. Also make sure you are using the, the proper gloves. 
this is a very important step make sure you just connect the wire that you're gonna weld from the unit before you starting the welding process the welding machine will pass a very high current into the wire if the unit is connected to that wire it might get harmed lastly once you're done from the welding don't forget to switch off the machine before you leave the working area okay lastly we're going to perform the connecting uh, process and the welding now we're going to start with connecting the machine to the cylinder the gas cylinder uh, you do not need any uh, teflon tape for this one because it's a self-sealing hose so just make sure some some of the regulators have a counterclockwise uh, tightening and some of them has a clockwise tightening in this case i have a clockwise uh, direction to tighten the hose and then we're going to use a spanner tighten it just a little bit we are done turn on the machine open this this gauge indicates the gas level on the cylinder and this gauge indicates the pressure that is going out from the hose and then we're going to start by t turning this one on just very slowly as we have indicated before the recommended pressure for the machine it ranges from uh, 2 psi until 3 psi so we're gonna try to make it three if by chance the pressure goes above what you want turn this one down and then as you see the pressure stays on its position now you're gonna eat, need to press this one to release the pressure inside the hose now perform the adjusting again once you reach the desired pressure then you are good to go now everything is mounted that all of the tools that you need start with stripping one fourth of an inch from the very top of the wire all the way to the middle and then twist the top two times or three times depends on the length of the wire and make sure they're twisted evenly and then here is the wire holder make sure this side touch the, the wire itself not the insulator because this is gonna act as a grounder during the welding and then adjust this one to be in the center and only one eighth of an inch outside put this one if you hit this the welding button it's gonna flush the area automatically and give you the current flow to hold the wire you do not need to use this one the black button okay so we are ready taking this position if you do not have the welding form move this one around and then try again and there you have it if you do not like the results you can put it back and adjust it the same again sometimes you might need just to cut the wire and redo it again or sometimes it works if you have you know enough length put it there and then hit the welding button again and there you have it now everything is ready and that's all thank you for watching